here at Cluckin because I heard that they're the king of the wing. Let's check it out. Come on. All right, so what do we got here? Here we have our Korean, these are the Korean sweet and spicy wings. So it looks like we got plenty of Korean barbecue sauce on there. Those are very glistening, very covered, loaded with that sauce. So are these, by the way, and these are the honey garlic with some sesame seeds. All right, first things first, this is the thing that I'm most happy about right here. That is like glass. Look how shiny that is. That just means it's got good coverage. So let's, let's give that a go. Bismillah. Mm. All right. I was thinking that this music was a little bit cheesy, right? A little bit too romancy for chicken wings. But to be honest, that sound is how I feel in my mouth when I try this. It's just love. That's a five. That's a five already. This is that garlic situation right here. Garlic, honey, honey garlic. Looking very crunchy, looking very tasty. Let's try it out. Okay. I know I said that was a five. If that's the case, I might have to get a new scale because that right there i mean it can only be a five also but man if i could go higher i would guys those wings unbelievable worth the drive worth the flight to dallas you better get over here if you want to try that out i want to try this sandwich right here without the sauce first but then i'm going to try out the sauces that they gave me looks pretty good let's give it a go Right off the bat, I'm gonna say, after having that explosion of flavors that was the wings, chicken sandwich is a little bit muted, right? But of course it would be, because it's a chicken sandwich as opposed to those very, very, very flavorful wings. But maybe the sauce, you know, will give it an extra kick. It's not bad, by the way. It's not bad by any means. For a chicken sandwich, as far as chicken sandwiches go, I'm with it. You got, uh, this is garlic parmesan. Let's see what that tastes like. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> this place. comes to sauce <clears throat> they know what they're doing but that poster on the wall that poster that's not there it's not there for decoration they're not lying they use that stuff in that stuff that's garlic parmesan it should be called garlic parmesan and a little bit of kill you with spicy all right so, garlic parmesan, what do I give that? I give the garlic parmesan, honestly, I give it a three. If I like spicy, I will give that easily 4.5. The jalapeno ranch, it's a little less spicy, but it does, does come in at the end. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with a 3.6 on the jalapeno ranch. But the house sauce, nice and mild, delicious on the sandwich. It brings this sandwich. So this sandwich is like, it's like your, your blank slate. It's like a blank page. By itself, 
you know, sandwich just stands there at a 3.5. That's what it stands at. It's no, nothing to, you know, write home about. But with these sauces, that sandwich goes up to a five. Easily one of the best head ad spots in Dallas. I think, honestly, in America, I have to tell you, I just found out, I asked the guy, I said, man, what is in your garlic parmesan? Because that garlic parmesan is kicking my butt, and it's garlic parmesan, right? So he says, that's not garlic parmesan. I said, what do you mean that's not garlic parmesan? It says GPM right there. What else is that supposed to mean? Well, what it is, is ghost pepper mayo. So, yeah. Obviously, ghost pepper mayo is gonna kick your butt. All right, guys, so what are my innermost philosophical thoughts about the fucking? I think if you wanna come here, you better hurry, because the clock, it's ticking. But you know what they say, those wings are finger licking. And I know that on the spices, they're not skimping to bring you that clucking good chicken.